Welcome to first in the series of how to use LogMD, the free edition. The first thing we want to do is open a command prompt. You will need to be an administrator in order to do use LogMD. You do that by right-clicking command prompt, run as administrator. If you don't do that and you just click command prompt, you'll see that the user context is just a command prompt and it says see users. That won't work. You must open it as an administrator and when you do, you'll see if you're prompted, you'll see administrator command prompt and it drops you into system 32. So let's navigate to where LogMD is stored. And if we do directory, we can see that there's LogMD free and three whitelists. If we want to look at, in every case, LogMD, you can type in minus H, it will get you the help. Also tells you the version you're on, as well as the usage of all the options within the product. What we want to do here is we're just going to go ahead and run LogMD to get an initial sense. If it collects the log data, then it's configured correctly. If it doesn't, it's going to throw you a bunch of errors. We can see that several log sizes have failed. Also, the com process command line is not being collected. Just a warning that you are have PowerShell v2 enabled or installed, and so you're susceptible to down downgrade attacks. There are some white lists, so they found those just fine, and some policies, audit policies, failed to uh, do as well. You can also look in this report, and in this report, you'll see the details. Here's the log setting sizes. Here's this PC compared to all these standards. We're focusing on the Windows logging cheat sheet, since that's the one uh, that does more settings than the others, one of which is the process command line, which we really like to set also what you can do to actually set that. And since it's failed, we can go ahead and right click and copy this, come to the command prompt, go ahead and, whoops, Windows 10 copy paste is a little different than Windows 7, so let's try it again. You can hit copy, come down here when you right click in the window, it'll paste it, hit enter, Operation can be successfully, and if you open RegEdit, you can see that this item is now set. Also, if you just run LogMD again, you'll see that that item no longer fails. But we have others, so let's adjust the log sizes as well. If we do that, we can do it manually through Event Viewer. We'll come up here and we'll say Application Log, since it did state that the application log security log, the PowerShell log, application log, and system log all need to be set. So we'll go ahead and look at those properties and we'll see that they're too small, 256.000. We're using the same logic as RAM. Security log needs to be at least 512, but I'm going to go ahead and open it up to well over a gig, so 1024. put it over a gig there and the system log also needs to be set and we'll only set these three just to show that we've chipped away at the problem of course GPOs were the best set these now if we run logmd again we'll see that we're still missing the PowerShell oh security log needs to be bigger so I must have made a typo there so we'll come look at security log properties one two three one two three hit apply, it'll, it'll up it to the near 64k, which is fine, you hit okay with that, and actually that is, uh, we're good there. It also mentioned here, if you notice, that the uh, PowerShell log, there are two PowerShell logs, there's this one down here, Windows PowerShell, this is for older versions of PowerShell, so you can set that to 512k because PowerShell can eat up a lot these days in the new versions of Windows. And there's also the PowerShell operational log right here. PowerShell operational, that's the one for version 4 and 5 PowerShell. Hit properties, set that for 5.12 as well. With today's PowerShell stuff, we uh, definitely want large logs to collect all that data. Now that we've set those two, let's see where we're at. We hit up arrow again, logmd will now tell us Okay, we got no log setting changes, fails, whitelists are all there and good. The uh, process command line's been set, but we have some audit policies. Now you can set those with GPO, or you can go through the local security policy uh, there. 
the local security policy, which is right here, and you can set the audit policies here. Process creation, we want to turn that on to success. This will create, this will capture everything as it executes. That's a detailed tracking and object access. Let's see what else it said. So object access, we need file system registry, file share, filter platform connection as Windows firewall. So we want to set that detailed file share. So we'll set all these items as well to success, just like it wants. LogMD cannot collect what's not there, so turning it on is crucial. If GPO is not set, you can use the local security policy in your environment to further enhance your workstation logging or if you're investigating an incident. Filter platform connection will capture the Windows firewall even if it's in an open all mode. You do want to collect that as well. And if you're going to do some auditing of the registry, we collect that. So we've turned those on. Let's see where we're at now. You can see here we have one more item, task schedule log is not set. So we can go back to the event viewer, find the task scheduler log down here, right click on it and you can see it says enable log, which means it's not enabled. Once we set it, then you can see that it'll now change that to disable, which means we're good. Run LogMD again, it will start to collect and now you've successfully configured LogMD to run the log portion of it. And that concludes this short video. Thanks for watching.